What's up? We're Marco and Alex of Acker Brothers. And this week we're exploring California's Sierra Nevada Mountains. So we've recently partnered up with Boda Box, this cool, eco-friendly, premium box wine company that's all about adventure. So when we were planning a trip to the Sierra Nevada with our friends, we knew that Boda Box would be the perfect addition to the crew. We're from Southern California. The weather and beaches make it a beautiful place to live, but it's all too easy to find yourself stuck in traffic, forgetting the natural beauty that's hidden inland, away from the coasts. Take the Sierra Nevada named by the Spanish for the snowy mountains of Andalusia. Today, it's home to three national parks, the highest mountain in the continental US, and some of the best trout fishing in California. Lately, I've been a little obsessed with my new favorite hobby, fly fishing. So I persuaded our friends <laughs> Devo, Dave, Andy, and Brittany to join us on a camping and fishing trip to the Sierra Nevada. This is what we need. We knew we'd be in a sensitive environment, so we wanted to minimize our footprint. So instead of bringing bottles and cans, we opted for wine from Boda's eco-friendly boxes. Just as easy to drink as they are to pack out. It's like, boom, boom, boom. All right, so we just made it to Bishop, California. So now we're gonna hop back on the 395 and head a little bit further north. See if we can't find a nice little camp spot on the river. All right, so we just turned down some mysterious dirt road and we're about to go find the campsite. You boys excited? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> you guys sound so cheesy. Oh, yeah. We just made it to what we believe is going to be our campsite tonight. We've got the, uh, the mountains behind us over here. It's a little bit breezy. There's definitely some weather. Who knows, we could be in for a stormy night. It's the late afternoon, there's a slight rain, but we're gonna set up camp and then the boys are gonna go fly fishing. Guys, there's so much wildlife here. It's awesome. This big stork just chilling in the river. All right, while those guys are fishing, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the Owens Valley. So these rivers are actually the source of water for Los Angeles. If you've ever seen the movie Chinatown, it tells you about how all this water was diverted to make LA a city that you could live in because there was no water there. So we're in the middle of a drought. Hopefully my brother and our buddies can get some fish. Cause I'm hungry. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> We're gonna get started on some dinner. So we're busting out uh, a big box of Boda, some Malbec, cracking up some glasses, and getting the evening started. Gonna have some pasta tonight. We just have a jet airplane here cooking our food. This is some flaxseed ciabatta bread with chevre <laughs> and smoked salmon from Alaska. Bon appetit, buen provecho. Okay, so rained all night, but we stayed cozy. Uh, and now we are breaking tent, breaking camp, and we're gonna go uh, to the hot springs to warm up because it is freezing right now, and uh, then onwards into the valley. Whether you come to the Sierras to hike, ski, or fly fish, one of the best ways to relax is in a hot spring. California might be the earthquake state, but all that geothermal activity means there are tons of natural hot springs especially in the Owens Valley, where ice-cold rivers turn bubbling hot and create natural jacuzzis with unrivaled scenery. So we headed to a secret spot with our buddy, Andy, who knows these parts pretty well and is usually a pretty good guide. That is, when he's not ghost riding his whip. Andy's ghost riding. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, well, we just got to the hot spring. It's this little creek coming out of the base of these uh, hills over here. What a nice way to start the day. I'm stoked, cold, about to get a lot warmer. Oh guys, this is so epic. Uh, it's already pretty probably can't even see it. All right, well I've got out, I'm already changed. Mark, you just hopped out. Thoughts? 
We've been soaking in the hot spring all morning. The sky is cleared up and we are cooking a feast, a veritable feast on the back of the truck bed. So time for lunch, lunch, and then onwards more exploration deeper into the mountains. As we left the valley and headed towards the mountains, the weather packed in and took a turn for the worst. Look at the rain in front of us. It's insane, you guys. That is the rainstorm. <laughs> we're hoping it's not exactly where we're camping. We're hoping we're camping just next to it in the sunny pastures over there, but we can't really tell yeah, until we get there. Dude, it's hail. It's hailing. Oh, hail. Oh, hail. It's hail. They say if you don't like the weather in the Sierras, wait a minute. And as quickly as the clouds came, they passed. So we've just arrived to another hot spring. Can't share the name, but uh, this place is absolutely gorgeous. We got the snow and the hills behind us. Still pretty stormy, but uh, we're gonna set up camp for tonight and see what happens. Well, Alex and Devo are going fishing and uh, we're gonna go search for some firewood so we can get the evening of food, wine, and hot tubs started. We didn't catch anything. Except for this hot spring, what a score is that? It's so nice. Look at that bad boy. We just had the most epic hot spring session in this like cave, awesome place right next to the river. And now it's raining, it's dark, but we are cooking up a feast on the back of the truck, starting a fire and getting ready for a mellow little evening. I don't know about that. You're gonna find out. There's a little bit of Chardonnay right there. Absolutely perfect, that sound is just music to my ear. Two tortillas, beans, cheese, peppers, cilantro, guacamole, and Veggies just sauteed perfectly in a nice Chardonnay. I can't think of anything that I'd rather eat out here. Even a few days in the Sierra Nevada is enough to appreciate the natural beauty of California's mountains. So after breaking camp and packing out the trash, we decided to leave something behind. All right guys, so Boda Box hooked us up with some trees as well, some ponderosa pines to plant. We figured we're surrounded by pine trees. It's probably a pretty good spot to add one or two or three. As we hit the 395 south towards San Diego, we hoped that the only footprint we left was one that would make this special place available for future generations. If not, for us when we finally learn how to fish. All right guys, that was our adventure here in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Big thanks to our buddies and also to Boda Box for making this trip possible. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to this channel for new travel videos every Tuesday. In the meantime, stay curious, keep wandering, and we'll see you guys on the road. Peace. Okay, some more videos for you guys. On the left, check out the video we made from Big Sur, California. On the right, throwback video, trekking the Trans Catalina Trail. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.